Hello and welcome my beautiful Geminis. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 1st to the 7th. So let's jump right in and see what we have here for your reading. Well, you're all over energy. Your download message is something is going to turn out better than you expected it to. So really good card to start off your reading in a positive direction. So if you've been working on something and you've been applying your energy, your blood, sweat and tears into some topic, some goal, some situation in your life and you're waiting to hear the results, how it's worked out. Maybe, you know, you're waiting for results on an exam, medical or scholastic. Maybe you've put out a letter to a lawyer or an advocate or maybe you know um, <clears throat> things are going to work out better than you expected so keep keep uh, being positive this week uh, again I can't express enough you know what we think we attract we become and it's important that we be positive so things are going to work out better than you expected so let's see what our readings about to see what that means so coming in in your center position here the energy that you could be feeling right now the all over energy is a chariot and that's an excellent card we know that the chariot is about you having the willpower to go out there with your determination and your due diligence to go after a goal or something you're working on with <clears throat> confidence uh, this is is a card that says you will see you will come out ahead of the game because it is a card of victory i always call this chariot card the champion okay goes into that arena as you know knows there's consequences and there's risk but has done his homework prior to that he set himself up he's protected and he comes out the other side victorious you're going to be getting recognition for something something that you're doing out there <clears throat> you could be doing something out there on social media where you're uh near you're putting yourself out there to be visible you could be networking yourself and you're going to generate traffic and interest and recognition for who you are and the gifts you have to offer. So this in itself makes you look and become a champion. Beautiful. Coming in and crossing over your energy, crossing over this reading is a night of fire. So the night of fire says, yeah, you're, you're charging towards your goals here. You're very busy. Uh, you know, <clears throat> you're confident and you're passionate going after your goals. The night of fire is that fast moving action he doesn't waste any time he gets on his steed and he charges towards what it is he wants to see happen so it's like you're stepping out into something new again you're very changeable you're very you you adapt to change well my beautiful gemini's you're very much <clears throat> Um, the person that gets bored if you're not moving forward in different directions or learning something new. So this Knight of Fire says, you know, there could be something new coming in, a new opportunity that gets your creative juices flowing. And, you know, you're going to charge towards them. You're doing the work. You are my Google Kings and Queens. You don't jump and leap, take a leap of faith without knowing what you're doing. So this is good. This is really good energy coming in towards some of you. So you could be finding that <clears throat> there could be an offer of some sort uh coming in towards you that you want to uh you want to pursue you might want to look into something like that <clears throat> so it is quick changes that come in we do have that tower coming in above as well so you're going to be enthusiastic you're going to take action and it's exciting and it can be an exciting relationship too uh you're going to be maybe around helpful friends that can come in and uh, and help you with the situation um you could be creating a circle of or a team of people around you that you want to work with coming in next you have the four of fire the four of fire is in that position of the energy that's leaving you so uh you know you you, you th this is a card that says get ready though to enjoy something here and celebrate something the four of of wands is that card of celebration stability security could be somebody moving back home as well that you want to celebrate that <clears throat> it's about feeling contented now you're able now to celebrate something but it could be something as simple as an invitation to a wedding an engagement the birth of a child anything like that but you could be celebrating your wins too even if they're small wins you need to acknowledge them and recognize them so you can keep moving forward and, and feel enthusiastic coming in above you <clears throat> the present energy the, the, this is the card of transformation but we know this is the tower and this is about you coming to a realization that you are going to again make some changes in your life and something might have happened suddenly where it creates a positive movement far forward for you to rebuild a new foundation for others you know they look at this card and it's gloom and doom and they think oh my gosh it's terrible people are falling out of a tower well not this one this one says it's an awakening it's realizing that wow now i can go after what i want time's on my side 
it's a life change that you're going to be making and it brings you acceleration and liberation you feel free now to have the resources to do what it is you've always wanted to do and that is a new beginning so this is a card of change <clears throat> Coming in next, you have the Hermit, and that's the near future energy. Um, maybe you're going to get a time out. Maybe you're going to be able to take some time for you, do more meditative work. Uh, you might be wanting to, uh, some of you, maybe you're going to teach meditation or yoga or some sort of <clears throat> relaxation technique that will allow you to bring yourself to the center. This is a card of balance again. I always think the Hermit's in balance. Once he goes out and he finds out what he wants. So you, again, you're researching something. You might be leaning into people uh, that you look up to as mentors to uh, pick their brains about a topic or a subject that's close to your heart. Um, this is about new self-discovery. You could be, like I say, contacting mentors, but this also, also indicates that you have the ability to light the path and teach and preach and convey information on topics that you are close to your heart that can help them through a process as well wow <clears throat> excuse me coming in the power of what you can do about something here um, how can you improve things while well, you've got the ego card we know that's the card of the devil and this is saying that you're moving forward in a new direction and you have that ability to change things now okay don't become dependent on <clears throat> behavior or habits that aren't helping you uh, you know gain momentum and helping you expand and grow uh, in a successful direction this is a card of you know realizing that you may have to make some changes and that might be walking away from toxic friends or relationships jobs that are unfulfilling not rewarding you uh, the way you feel you deserve um, energy around you letting go of negative thoughts letting go of situations like that as well changing things up here so that you can feel better and know that you're moving in a healthier stronger direction so <clears throat> don't allow yourself to be uh, dragged into other people's drama misery loves company and sit and take time to realize what is going to make life better for you okay uh, this is about you regaining the power to do that. Coming in next, this is how other people can influence the situation. Well, we've got the high priestess. Somebody could be helping you with some research. Somebody could be looking behind the scenes and doing uh, and doing their work helping you. Uh, <clears throat> this is a card of you also, my Google kings and queens, doing that work, doing the research, getting out there, finding out information that you need that's going to help you in the future. Trusting your intuition. Okay, you're going to build this book of wisdom here that you're going to maybe refer to later. All right, that's going to help you. Um, <clears throat> but you could be working with someone like this who's going to do some research for you and help you. You might be waiting for something uh, now that you've got this information that you need. Okay, um, <clears throat> and the card says be patient. Uh, don't allow yourself to... Uh, get up in your head and worry okay remember we said let go of negativity here with the devil card so don't allow yourself to to bring bring that negative karma down on your head this is about you staying positive believing in yourself even if they're small wins they're still wins okay they're telling me increments again they keep telling me increments with you that means you could be receiving something in little increments not a big chunk at once Okay, coming in in your hopes and dreams, wow, you want things to be back to normal. You want to be busy again. You want to have, you know, you want to be creative again. You want to be active again. Um, this is a card that says get ready. Okay, this is a card of speed and momentum picking up. This means that you need to be prepared for this. All right, tie up those bootlaces because you're going to be hitting the ground running. You might be multitasking, some of you right now, doing a lot of different things that you need to get done. Um, and you're, you're finding that it's a lot. But if you pace yourself and if you make out those to-do lists and tick them off as you go through this process, it won't be as difficult or taxing on you emotionally or physically. So this is a card of speed. This is a card of momentum picking up. This is a card of things moving forward quite quickly now. Coming in with your last card, you've got the outcome card, and it is the seven of earth. So this is about investment. You've put your, your time into. You're waiting for something to come in. You're waiting for your harvest to come in. You planted those seeds. You've got that information out there. You've been in contact with the right people, uh, and now you're able to take sit back and take an assessment of 
what you're going to do with that abundance when you receive it. This again is a card of patience and unnecessary worry. For others, you may have put out a resume and you're waiting to hear how they're going to receive it and react to it. Others may have had tests done, uh, whether they were medical or scholastic, and you're waiting to see the results on them. Maybe you put out a call to a friend or someone you're interested in um, and you're waiting to see if they're going to re return and come back to you with an answer. But be patient. This is a card of patience. Well, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Geminis, this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for this week of July the 1st. And it looks good. Things are going to work out better than you expected. It just requires a little bit of patience on your time. And I know, Gemini, you're always waiting. Well, at the end of the day, if things work out better than expected, it will be worth the wait. So I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And I'll see you soon.